Now question of the day, a block placed on a horizontal surface experience force as given then, find the frictional force by apply by surface on the block and acceleration of the block. So first of all, make free by diagram of that block. Mg always work on downwards, so 2g, this will equal to 2 into 10 because we have taken g, this will equal to 10, so that is 20 Newton, okay. Normal force applied by surface on the wall, on the block is N1 always perpendicular direction, so N1 represents like that one. And component of 10 Newton in what horizontal direction that is 8, 10 into cos 37 that is 8 and 10 into sin 37 that is 6 because sin 37 is 0 0.6, so 10 to 0 0.6 that is 6 Newton. After that, frictional force act on always direction, opposite direction of driving force okay so net net force on y direction is zero y with this block is not moving in y direction n1 plus 6 this will equal to how much 20 plus 10 so n1 is 24 newton after that limiting frictional force determined and kinetic frictional force are determined put this value and next target is driving force is 8 and 8 so 16 16 Newton is greater than limiting frictional force, so block is moving, means acceleration is not zero. So Newton's second law, net force in x direction, this will equal to mass into acceleration, unbalanced force this will equal to mass into acceleration. So 8 plus 8, that is 16 minus fk, fk is how much? 2.16. So 16 minus 2.16 divided by 2. Okay, then we got acceleration is 6.92 meter per second square is the right answer. Make it.